let's talk about creating a prompt. Now, a prompt is a user prompt based upon what the user fills in when asked the report is generated and it is a filtering mechanism. Now we have a document here or a report here and let's actually see what it looks like. I'm going to preview it. Oh, hang on just a minute. There we go. And we do see the city, the region, and the country. And of course we do see some international here as well. So what I want a user to be asked to do is pick a country and then a region slash that's comparable to a province or a state and then a city within there. So different filtering choices is a prompt. It is somewhat similar to a, um, a parameter, a group of parameters. It's actually going to start out as a parameter. So I already have one in here and I'm going to delete the region. And I'm going to do a new parameter field and we're going to call this one Customer Geography. And it is going to be a text string but this time it's going to be dynamic. Now the screen is going to change. Now down below, choose a data source. Notice it does say new and that's fine. Now the values and the options. Whereas when we've done a static uh, parameter, there were some option settings already there. This time there isn't. Now we're going to click the little file folder here and we're going to do the first one. Now, the very first one, and you have to go from broad-based down in a very logical way. First one is going to be the country. And then the next one will be the region. And then the next one will be the city. Now, please take note of the way this is indented. So, country, region, city. Does that make sense? Now let's select country and the prompt text is enter the name of the country and multiple values no discrete values range values no. So they can only pick one. Now for region Enter the region, i.e. state or province, and down below, no ranges. Uh, we're going to leave it as, as true for discrete and no multiples. Now the city, so the prompt text, enter the customer city. And that makes sense. We could add a few more details, but that makes sense. So there are three things that the user will be challenged for. We're going to bring that in. We're going to suppress that. And now we are going to go ahead and add that new parameter to our select expert. And it's going to be based upon, we're going to start it with city. So that's the highest up. And the city is going to equal the parameter. And we're going to say OK. Now I am actually going to go back and look at that select expert so that you could actually see the whole formula. Now let's go ahead and preview this report. And hopefully my crystal reports won't crash. And I have my three choices. So the name of the country. Let's select 
the US and then the region uh, let's pick California and then when I have California let's do San Diego and notice how it pre-filtered and I say okay and I only have one now let's do it again prompt for new parameters this time let's pick Canada and then notice we are limited to the Canadian provinces let's pick Ontario and then the customer city Toronto and we say OK and we get one and that's the end of the creating a prompt